So when I get back to the States, my friends are going to ask me, Otis, how did it go? I said, I had a good time. They said, did you have some crazy travel? And I said, well, I drove from Indianapolis, Indiana. I drove five hours down to Nashville, Tennessee. Slept East Nashville, got up the next morning, got on a flight, flew directly to London. And I'm here to tell you, brothers and sisters, a direct flight from Nashville to London is a thing of beauty. <laughs> got in, I slept 13 hours. That's actually a slow night for me, but uh, I slept 13 hours. And when I got up, I walked down to the, walked down to the uh, tube station and took some pictures and video and stuff of the Hitchcock murals and uh, my buddies will be like Hitchcock and Leeton Stone I said hell yeah <laughs> I said well where the hell's Leeton Stone I said exactly <laughs> it's beautiful to be somewhere that other folks might not know that you're there but uh, the people that do know are the people that matter I'm gonna tell my I'm gonna tell my buddies I haven't told them this yet, but I'm about to tell them when I get home about the time that I told you about my favorite person from Leeton Stone, a man named Don Law. Don Law was born right here in Leeton Stone, and he moved to the United States, and um, he became, he should be famous for, but he's kind of unknown. He's the man that recorded Robert Johnson, and he's from Leeton Stone. He uh, recorded him in a hotel room in San Antonio in a makeshift studio, and then later in Dallas. I've spent the night in both places. <laughs> I even recorded in that hotel room, but it did not sound nearly as good. <laughs> All these years of technology could not help me. Don Law later went to Nashville, and he became a big-time record producer and he produced Johnny Horton's Battle of New Orleans. He produced uh, Jimmy Dean's Big Bad John. And you guys know that super cool Marty Robbins Gunfighter album? He produced that in the Quonset Hut with Lou Bradley Engineering. I later talked to Lou Bradley about it and he told me stories about Don Law who lived, came from right here. Now be honest, how many of you people knew about Don Law before I just said that? <laughs> See, that's what's so good about an Otis Gibb audience, Gibbs audience. I can't pronounce my own last name, but they're honest. Don Law is in the Country Music Hall of Fame, but nobody remembers him. Say his name around town a few times, and maybe we'll get a plaque or something for him. Yeah. Yeah. There's songs that the couch and the rabbits sing. There's songs you remember from your childhood days There's songs that travel across the wind Till your knees grow weary and your head goes dim I learned that song when I was just a kid And I carried it with me but I kept it here like the smell of switchgrass after the rain Too young to know better and too old to change Whoa, survival Whoa, survival Is like a wheel That never turns Whoa, survival Whoa, survival Waiting on the words There's a joy that some men will never know Like setting fire to a billboard and watching the glow As the wind blows through you and feeds the flames Too young to know better and too old to change Whoa, survival, whoa, survival is like a wheel that never 
mutants. Whoa, survival. Whoa, survival. Waiting on the words. Abby laid in his cabin in pain for days. He bled out on the couch and he passed away. His friends threw his body in a pickup truck. Drove him out into the desert neat the mesas and ruts. And we dug a hole beneath the Arizona stars. And we covered him up in dirt rocks and scars. Set fire to the couch and set it on his grave. Too young to know better and too old to change. Whoa, survival. Whoa, survival. It's like a wheel that never turns. Whoa, survival. Whoa, survival. Waiting on the words There's songs that the cows and the rabbits sing So I was uh, sitting out here earlier today, this is four or five hours ago, and I was just looking across the way and there was a family sitting out on some steps out in front of the, uh, whatever the teaching knowledge center, whatever that is behind Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> There's a family sitting out there, a mother and father and five kids. Four of the kids were very close to the parents. And um, this one, little girl, she's probably three or four years old. I'm not very good at figuring that stuff out. But uh, she's way off to the side, running in circles around this little tree. She got a, a cute yellow jacket, looks different than the rest of the kids, got her own thing going around the tree. Does that two or three minutes. She stopped and she was a little bit dizzy. And then she walks over to some weed growing up through the pavement and picks it and she's looking at a bug crawling on it, and the bug flies off. And then she looks over and she sees a pigeon on the sidewalk, and she walks over and starts talking to the pigeon <laughs> as if it can un understand what she's saying. She's having a conversation with the pigeon. And uh, then she, the pigeon flies off, she walks over and she starts running in circles around that tree again. That kid is going places. <laughs> I'd like to grow up to be that kid if I could. <laughs> I thought that's a, that kid's gonna be a folk singer or something. <laughs> Awaken 
somebody's laughter And I headed out across town To the old bar in the Columbus From Malastrana To Stilometsky Someone you don't recognize. The stars are still shining. Won't a child's bridge tonight? For some kind of tribute And I saw all the stars stretched out In a blanket Look across the No time at night Reflected stars if you find you become in someone you don't recognize, the stars will still shine. Won't a child's bridge tonight?